Why do most South Africans call all toothpaste Colgate? It begins in the early 1800s with an Englishman, William Colgate. Is it because Colgate is or was the biggest toothpaste company ever? Bigger than Close Up, Aquafresh, Mentad and P, etc., etc. Cleaner teeth, three ways clean is Colgate clean. This call gate phenomenon extends to all sorts of things. Bata or margarine, Rama. Yeah, you know you're right with Rama. Detergent, stroke washing powder, Omo. Petroleum jelly, Vaseline. A wonder jelly. Let it work wonders for you. All tablets for headaches. There is only one choice. Panado. Even plastic bags, checkers. Although checkers is just the name of some supermarket, yeah, we're okay and whatever. A vacuum cleaner. I don't know what's another word for it. We just call it a hoover. Which gets out the trodden in grit that other cleaners just can't remove. It is strange, though, that this phenomenon applies to only certain things and not others of the same commodity caliber of commonness like matches. The only prominent company that is predominant in producing matches in South Africa is Lion. There's no company that even sneezes next to it when it comes to popularity. Yet, you never hear us saying, uh, how many lions do you have? So, what is it? Does it say something about us as a nation? Does it maybe to some scale unite us? Is the South African mind programmed to being drawn in masses to certain things without questioning? We'll use Colgate with MFP fluoride. MFP fluoride? Can the fact that there were campaigns, songs, games, and competitions around promoting certain brands be enough to affect an entire population's language? Or is it just plain utter language laziness? I mean, I guess a positive outlook on it could be it's a new form of slang. It's plain, it's simple, does not require the tedious process of translating, nor does it need the long explanation of powder soap meant for washing clothes. Is it just plainly convenient? Or... Is it wrong because it favors a specific private company? Some people may argue, look, dude, it's hereditary. Our parents and grandparents call things that way, so we just grew up calling them that too. Maybe there's just some conspiracy theories around this phenomena. Anyway, send us your comments and views um, <laughs> and just giving us, letting us know what you think. But I don't know. I think it's just something specific about us South Africans. Or maybe, I don't know. Hala.